All right. So there you go. They're pinging right now on the mini map for a split second. I'll try to go for a flank here. They should be coming in from their spawn now. There they are. No shot. I just want to outline exactly what the forward Intel perk does and why it would be useful to some players. As you can see the description, it shows C indicators for enemy reinforcements on your minimap and the minimap shows a larger area. So let's talk about exactly what this means. So enemy reinforcements, AKA pretty much when they respawn into the map. Now I'm just going to show you guys a quick graphic of how larger a minimap appears when you do have the forward Intel perk on. So on the left hand side, we have a regular minimap without the forward Intel perk equipped. And on the right side, we have the forward Intel perk equipped. I'm standing in the same exact spot on the same exact map and you do have a lot more to see on that map now you can imagine how op that this would be on a smaller map like garrison and also crossroads like you see here you see literally everything on that map and that's why this could be a super op perk especially if you're a player who thrives off of quote unquote intel so especially when you call in a uav or your team calls in a uav you see so much more in your area and that gives you an advantage because you know exactly where the enemies are at where to go on the map which directions to push etc etc just gives you so much more of an advantage now let's take a look at the reinforcement part of this perk so the reinforcement part isn't too op i feel like it's pretty balanced in my opinion but basically enemies literally ping on the outer edges of your mini map you know they're not going to show when they respawn into the middle portions of the map but it only happens when enemies respawn on the outer portions of the mini map so that right there i think is okay and they only ping for a little bit you know they you see like a really quick blinking of the enemy red dot on your minimap and if you're paying attention to the minimap as you're playing the game this will show you where exactly you need to go maybe you could gatekeep these enemies from coming in because you know exactly where they're spawning in from so now i want to transition into a live gameplay just showing a live demonstration of how this perk actually works and i want you guys to just focus on the minimap just look for those pings that happen on the outer edges of the minimap and that's when you'll be able to tell when an opponent has spawned on the outer edges of the minimap you know and that's what i think is really key about this as well so yeah guys hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you did find this intel informational make sure to drop a like on it subscribe if you are brand new around here turn on notifications make them personal so that you never miss another video and i'll see you guys let's get it baby keep an eye on the mini map as much as you possibly can of course you know if you're enjoying the gameplay watch that as well oh my gosh what pretty sure i have flag jacket on if not then i'm just an idiot but yeah check out those pings on the mini map you should be able to see exactly where they're spawning in from so just keep an eye on the mini map as soon as you you'll know when you see it but I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm gonna meet him inside here. That was easy. Someone here? In our spawn? No? Wait, yeah, there is. Give me that headshot, man. I need my headshots. Okay, we got a double team there. Alright. So there you go. They're pinging right now on the minimap for a split second. He's on the B flag. Okay, I'll let my teammates handle that. going around here someone's on the sea flag someone else is gonna challenge me oh my goodness this AK is just beaming right now oh I'm out of here I am out of here bro is he gonna come around I'm ready I'm ready I'm leaving Putting on my armor, putting on my armor. I got so one shot. Let's go. I think somebody just ran right above me. Let's go over here. Try to blindside him real quick. No, 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 no. Dude, we're on a merciless right now. All right, let's call him this war machine. What? Wait, hold on. Wait, I didn't see that guy earlier. Am I blind? Maybe I might be. Okay, well, they're in trouble now. 
I'm about to go off with this thing. No. But yeah, having so much bigger of a minimap, especially for a player like me, I love everything Intel. Dude, what are you doing? Let's try to go for a flank here. They should be coming in from their spawn now. There they are. No shot. Okay, wait. I hear footsteps. Oh my gosh, I didn't see that guy. I didn't see that guy. On a map like Crossroads, cross on a map like Crossroads, it's incredibly difficult to multitask because the map is so small. When the map is so small, there's just a lot more going on. Okay, someone's in our spawn over here, back here. There he is. Oh man, on A, he's on A. Oh, I'm avoiding that guy. 100% avoiding him. Okay, so they do have a spy plane up. Not worried about that. I love, I love just flanking and coming from the outside and cutting into the inside. You just get a great vantage point of everything. Wow. I need to see this again. Wow. Huge props to that guy. That was a great move. Got me again. Wow. No way. No way. No way I died to that. We gotta beat him. No. That was so close. Okay, cool. Woo. All right. So obviously having a much bigger minimap is a huge advantage and it's seriously OP. If, if you are a player who loves Intel and information, having the forward Intel perk is going to give you a huge, huge advantage. Just seeing everything on the map, especially on a map as small as Crossroads, dude, the possibilities are endless. It's crazy. Still don't see anybody here. Oh, nice one. Oh, I got him. I haven't been here yet. Nice. Whoa, what? I have never seen anybody camp that tank like that before. Ever. Still gotcha. That's what I love about the stuns. And another kill. Oh, dude. Oh, I didn't even realize we had a spy plane. Is he going? Is he going this way? Got this. What? That's interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Thank God for Stimshot. Stimshot saved my life. This is actually a pretty competitive game right now. 149 to 153. I think we can make this comeback. We're ready. We're ready to go. I'm pushing. I'm pushing up. I'm getting aggressive here. They are in their spawn. Give me that. Let's see where they're spawning. Okay, they, the spawns have flipped. Get that guy out. There's another one here. Not sure exactly where he went. All right, he's up here. He's on a streak. They actually could be... Oh, man. Ah. Yep, they're at A now. They're pinging at A. Yes, let's go. Finally, I got away with a double kill. get a different angle here. Oh, that was a bad idea. Nope. I guess it's safe to say that we won this match, right? Yep, they're definitely going to be in their spawn. 100%. Come below me. 
Oh man, that's a pity. No! Well, I think that's the end of the game right there. Yep, that, that is the end of the game. Woo, pretty sweaty match, man. Leave a comment down below if your lobbies are as sweaty as this. 55 kills, 30 deaths. Holy crap, that's a lot of deaths, man. Uh, hopefully, you guys did find the video informational and helpful. And if you did, make sure to drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're brand new around here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Let's get it, baby.